What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and today I'm going to be fulfilling one of the requests by you to explore the bottom of Assault on the Control Room, more specifically the beginning part where the Pelican lands. I've been asking you guys for a while, you know, if there's anything that you want me to explore in Halo in this series that I haven't done yet, just let me know in the comments below and I will see what I can do. So today that's what we're going to be doing. Now, there are essentially two ways to pull this off. The first way is to basically stay inside the Pelican. It's the same trick that you use on 343 Guilty Spark to get on top of the map. The problem with this method is that you need to do this on co-op. As far as I know, if you try to do this on single player, you will eventually hit a death barrier before you actually hit the bottom of the area. So what I did here today is I simply just turned off fall damage. So I am going to stay in the Pelican just to show you guys how you can do this. And essentially, you just keep pushing the action button uh, when you leave the Pelican so you can get back in. And then you just stay there. Uh, you can't reload or anything like that because if you try that, it'll you'll jump out of the Pelican. So again, you can do this on co-op, but it's going to be player two that survives the uh, death barrier. So if you just simply uh, turn off fall damage, then when you exit the Pelican, you'll just continue all the way down to the bottom of the mission. Now, down here, it looks pretty empty. It's very foggy, very spooky. Uh, but weirdly enough, uh, there is a mysterious dead grunt over here and he's surrounded by three plasma pistols now i don't know what the deal with this is i don't know if this was a grunt that was used in the cutscene, and so to get rid of him they just put him at the bottom of the shaft but if that was the case what happened to all the other grunts maybe they ran inside uh, the door i'm not really sure but he's just randomly there with three plasma pistols and yeah they're they're regular plasma pistols you can use them but you can't get back up from here so but it's really kind of creepy uh, if you look up it's just this this inverted black and white type image almost like a, a negative uh still it's really creepy but uh but so obviously it's it's not the first time someone's been down here so uh to do something a little bit new in this video one of the things i've always wanted to do in this particular part of the mission is ride one of the spiraling rings that you see and these things aren't easy to get to simply because they're very thin and they move very fast so again, we're going to go ahead and try this since we, we already explored the bottom. We saw the secret grunt. Again, not really sure where the guy came from or why he's there. Maybe it's just sort of an Easter egg. Um, of course, the pelican disappears. So it's, it's crazy how it works, but it's cool. So we're going to go ahead and try to ride the ring now. And so the easiest way to do this is to jump down to the platform. And there's little ledges that, that stick out far enough that you that with the right amount of momentum and height you should be able to jump on them but you do have to be careful because again these things are thin and there are gaps in them what's really cool here is that when you can do it you don't actually spin around the uh, area you don't stay in one place the ring actually moves beneath your feet it'd be interesting to see this in third person mode uh, if master chief's just running alongside the ring but the ring's going fast enough that at least a couple of times you can actually skip over the little gaps which is pretty cool and there are several of these rings here so if you fall off one it's fun trying to see if you can land on the one beneath it so yeah, it's cool getting a close-up look at the, the bottom of this area as well as the rings themselves. And I'm curious to hear what you think about this. Was this entertaining for you? Was it something new? And if so, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll let me know in the comments below. Let me know what things that you would like to see me explore in Halo, things that you'd like to see me do in the games. Uh, I can do pretty much anything with Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 since they're both on PC. So if I need to mod it, I can. But yeah, just let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below or feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll subscribe for more great content right here on MythicTyrant.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.